Greetings comrades, Soviet Gaming here. Today we will talk about Warpath and specifically about the combat drills. I want to give you a few advice for the free to play players or overall for all the players that will help you to reach higher score. So guys, as you know, I'm completely free to play player and I've managed to get... Uh, which medal? I think I got platinum medal, yeah, in this event and if I'll be more active I can get the gold medal as well. Warlord is kinda out of the reach because it's crazy amount of points, but uh, yeah, you can get at least silver or platinum medal without serious issues in this event if you'll follow the tips that I give you. Moreover, I'm ranked 4th right now, which is extremely crazy and unexpected, but yeah, during this event I've learned few new things that will help you a lot during the event. So. Let's go. It's really important to keep collection going all the time because that will allow you to get those extra resources and uh, extra points as well. So don't forget to send your trucks on the missions and don't let them to be idle. When you're sleeping, there is a trick. I showed it in the Grand Showdown event already. You can use blue stacks for that and macro it down. So while you're sleeping, your tracks will be working. That's a good source of points and that will give you a small edge over other players. Moreover, when gathering resources, uh, focus a little bit more on money because um, you will lose a lot of troops and recruiting them costs money, so you will be low on that for a little bit. So the first and most obvious thing, try to find uh, some area where one allies is trying to expand and land there. If you are stronger than they are, they will try to take you out and you will get some points on the defense. This is not a really good way of doing things, but this event is about PvP and you can't do anything about that. You gotta be harsh or you won't get any points. Basically, the idea of this event, you want to take out enemy troops and bases and mostly troops, to be honest. The one way how you can do this is to find enemy camps that are lower level than you are. So, for example, I'm uh, level 20 right now, my common center is level 20, and I'm hunting for something like 16 to 18 level bases because those seem to be the best. They have uh, lower level troops, but they are not as weak and you get the optimal amount of points. So, that's your target audience. Moreover, try to avoid bases with a lot of howitzers because they will um, do a lot of damage to you and you will end up with a really, really low amount of the reserve forces and overall you won't be able to recruit units anymore and won't be able to take part in that event. So it's better to hunt for the lower, for the weaker players, let's put it like that, that's harsh but then again, that's the way to go. When you found an enemy base, don't just rush in and attack it straight away. There is a specific tactics that will allow you to get lower casualties. You will have to tank the damage with your tanking unit. It can be infantry or super heavy tanks. And your artillery should do the rest of the job. I'll show you how to do that right now. So we attack it with the infantry. When we got aggro, we move away a few spots, few few tiles and a barricade over there. We will get the damage from the main camp and artillery over there and attack those areas, those command centers with our ranged units. And that way our casualty will be really, really low. So either super heavy tanks will take the most damage or our infantry and you can always retrain some of those in order to keep tanking. But that's not always working. Look at that, the enemies got reinforcements, that's curious. I might be able to show you the best way how to get points during this event. This is not base destruction, this is actually fighting enemies. So if you want to take most points, you want to fight enemy units. Because those give the most points and you don't want to attack them from your base, you want to fight them on the field. That's the most efficient way of doing this. That's a little bit hard on your resources, on your forces, but... Um, that's the most efficient way. That's how I got most of my points. I was fighting the guys. And you should manually target the enemies that are weak against your guys. So super heavies against heavies, heavies against mediums, destroy the enemy artillery early on, destroy enemy infantry early on, and all that. That should give you like a lot, a lot of points really easily. And as you can see, even though we are in the range of enemy base, we didn't took that much damage from those guys, but we got plenty of scores. I'm really low on reserve forces though, so I don't want to fight uh, way too much right now. So I want to be careful with that. Okay, all of those guys are actually alive and well. That's pretty cool. That will allow us to get more points. So destroying the base isn't really that crazy. That doesn't give you that much points. Main score you will get from actual PvP, from fighting the enemies. And it's really cool that those guys are alive and well. If you feel that the enemies are way too many, you can always retreat back to your base 
Let's hide, let's go back, select all and garrison. That will help you to defend and recover. So it's not really useful to fight a lot of strong enemies at the same time. You gotta, you gotta destroy them with fewer casualties. Let's put it like that. And specifically in my situation right here, I don't really want to do that. But be mindful. Fighting enemies is way better outside of your base than defending from the base. Because the base defense uh, gives you a lower amount of points. It doesn't give you that many points as... Uh, actually fighting outside as you can see here in the event in the combat drill base uh, defense gives you one point uh, for the lowest tier and troop defeat gives five so it's five times more points if you defend from from the outside of your base so just wait for them to attack your base and after that select all dish out and take them out okay this is not the best position for my artillery that's for sure but yeah that's the the, the best way to do this guys that will give you most points. Try to focus the weaker units once again in infantry and enemy artillery units because if there will be no artillery, they won't be able to dish out that much damage to you. You can always uh, get your units in, like the artillery, the important units, to distract the enemy and then put them out again and start attacking. So this is another defensive tactic that can help you to lower the casualties of the units you don't want to lose. And we are really low on reserve forces, so soon we might be able, might be needed to actually, to get back in, in our uh, artillery position in, in the base and defend from there. Because the enemies, look at that, they're all going in over here. Oh my god, that's curious. That's curious. I wonder how many points we will get in the end. They, they are crazy about this. I, I like that. I hope you guys are watching this video and thank you for, for this event, for this cooperation. We have allies coming over. Oh my god. We have allies coming over, so this is really curious, guys. That's that's something that I really want to see in this game a lot. Like, uh, actual PvP, not destroying the uh, offline players and all that. Okay, when everything is over, there is one really cool option. It happened to me once. I will show you the footage from the phone. You can uh, kind of place your unit next to enemy base, and if the enemy isn't really careful, they will send out all the units, and those units will die instantly, and you will farm a lot a lot a lot of score like that so that's one of the options so yeah try to get closer to the enemy base uh try to destroy enemy reinforcements one by one and all that that will help you quite quite a lot you will just be, uh make a bunker next to enemy base and that's it that's it send all the units here and they will be attacked and after they will be attacked they will be destroyed by your artillery mostly so it will be a pretty safe way to farm points like that so the enemies are really going for it really trying hard to get the most kills and you can take advantage of that let's take a look at the battle report so we can see how it goes hostile kills uh 288 we got 500 kills here 400 kills here 200 kills here 170 so this is really oh this is five hours ago no that's old that one isn't done yet the fight is still happening and we are still getting the score over here. Oh my god, I'm really sorry for those guys, but nothing you can do about that. That's that's the event, that's the war, and that's how it's supposed to be. You can always pull the enemy forces closer to your main artillery positions and everything, so it will be easier for you to take them out. Take advantage of that. Be mindful though, if the enemies are active, you will want to destroy the base right now. Your goal isn't to take out enemy base. Your goal is to take out as many forces as possible, so don't rush, don't destroy straight away. Your goal is to hide them out, so they will attack you, so they will lose units, and they will go out, and you can take out more forces like that, and get more points. More enemies coming over, so let's invite them for private party. So, as you can see here, having an alliance is a better option, because together you can take out stronger enemies, you can take out more enemies, you can get more score, and uh, get less casualties so that's way more efficient to do it together but if you don't have um, alliance a good strong alliance you can do it solo as well it's not a problem there we go the battle record is here we managed to score 1.7k kills and the hostiles managed to get 500 so i think that's a really really good result let's take a look the, the battle isn't over it it's still happening guys we're still fighting the enemies are attacking us we're attacking them and all that but uh, let's take a look at the actual event and see what the difference Yeah, We got some score. I think we got some score. Yeah, we got like a few hundred K score right like that. That is insane. 
So guys, as you can see here, the massacre got real. We destroyed one command center already. We got more. Our allies dropped in. And uh, stuff is really crazy. Like, th this is the dream of every player on this event. To have this kind of fight happening. Because you can do so much. You can score so much using this chaos. The best way to get score is uh, fighting group versus group without destroying bases. Another good advice is cutting out the enemy reinforcements by placing the bunker or someone on the enemy reinforcement pad. That will give you uh, literally free kills and the enemies uh, will get weaker as the time goes by so they won't get those guys uh, fighting the themselves. <laughs> so let's say you destroyed everything you wanted over here. And it's time to move. I would advise using relocate if you want to move around, you know, nearby location. So, for example, if you want to go for this base, uh, we go over here together with the base. Because, because, important thing, the base movement speed is lower than your howitzer movement speed. So, that way you will get your reinforcements to your uh, frontal fight area faster. That will allow you to get more stuff easier. So this way, when you start fighting a stronger enemy or something else will happen and you will need more units, you will be able to call in reinforcements from the base, which will be right next to you, and it will be easier option for you. Oh, нихуя это работает? There is one more trick I just saw. You can actually trick an enemy to attack your base by hiding your units, sending them out and sending them in really fast. That works. It just happened to me here. That's curious. I never... Like, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, guys, yes, you can try to use that tactics, but actually it's not that effective. You won't get that much score and you will lose a lot of time on that, so I wouldn't recommend that. Although it's effective if you want to take enemy out and you are serious about that. Not our uh, goal for today. Now, another advice for you guys. What to do if your base got attacked and you are, your units are far, far away and you can't reach it in time to defend and you're like, oh my god, I will lose all my durability. There is one trick to that. You can go to your army screen and remove your forces. Remove them. You will get reserve troops and the cost back. So you will get everything back. You just click on every of your units and then you put them back. So that way you can deploy them straight at your base. So this method will allow you to basically teleport your units around. So if you are far away from your base and you want to your units to be next to it, you do that. And after that, just train them up and that will allow you to actually rebuild your troops at your base straight away and defend it if the enemy isn't really strong. That's a lifesaver because sometimes if you chase the enemy too far away, it happened to me that the enemy was like crazy far and someone backstabbed me, bam, you will be dead. But this trick will allow you to survive. So, okay, guys. So, okay, guys, if you want to move around, if you want to attack someone, usually uh, just moving around by relocating is good enough because it's not that far. Uh, be mindful that you have airlifts available for you so you can use them if you want to jump on someone if you found something interesting on the map. So, we can see that Empire is building here and we can jump on that area and uh, kind of force them to attack us if you want to, so we will use airlift for that. So let's do just that, just for the purpose of this tutorial, we will airlift to those guys over here, bam, yes, and after that we can move around uh, to the next target in this area by simply uh, moving our units around. So we won't use up those airlifts because it takes a while to recover them and we don't really want to use the uh, items for the airlifts anyway. The thing is, if the enemy have artillery at their base, they can attack your units with it and uh, be mindful of that. So the bases with the artillery units and rocket units, specifically the artillery units, can outrange your howitzers and uh, you have a chance of losing important expensive troops. Be mindful of that and try to avoid that if possible. If that's the case, it's better to go all out on the advance and just try to rush it with your overall forces without using the meta that I told you before. It's a good idea to build up more infantry in order to uh, buff up the bunker so it won't fail if you if your main source of tanking or your heavy tanks, super heavy tanks, because that will allow you to save up more expensive and important troops for the firepower. So right, when the enemy base is destroyed, you don't want to rush in with all your forces because you will get more losses. It's better to take them out one by one using your artillery again because that will allow you to get the free kills just like that. You can even take out enemy rocket launchers like that and they have the lower range than your howitzers. 
Although the enemy howitzers will be the problem, so it's better to use up your main forces for that and uh, you know go all in on those guys, starting with your tanks because those can tank it way better. And usually they go down quite easily, so leave them for the end so we won't take extra damage. And yes, obviously guys, for the combat drills event you want to be extremely active in order to get most of that active time. If you are inactive, try to stay in the area where the enemies can attack your base to get some extra score. And of course, you can be only safe as a whale here. If you are top of the server, I'm not. So as you can see over here in the power ranking of the server, I'm, it says 80s, but it's lies. Uh, I'm somewhere around here, about 70 spot, and we have loads of people who are stronger than me and who can take out my base easily, specifically the top guys with the highest power. So for those guys, you are just a treat, and don't worry if you got destroyed, it's okay, so make sure to have some extra reserve forces to recover your army if you got defeated. Another good trick will be, if you are not sure about yourself, you can again remove all your forces, take the resources back and summon them uh, when you will come back to the game, and that way you won't lose up resources when you AFK, you won't be that uh, interesting target for the enemies, no one will jump to you just to destroy your base, it doesn't give you that much score, and yeah, overall that, that will be a good option for the players who are not that active, who are not that strong, and who are worried that they will lose a lot. So yeah guys, uh, with those tips, even as a free-to-play player, you will still be able to score really good in the combat drills, top 5 it happened, I don't know how, but I've managed, and it's mostly will be based on your activity and how careful you are, so if you, you will lose a lot of reserve forces, you won't be able to fight after that, because you don't have that many of those available and you can't truly really recover it faster than you are doing it right now anyway. So let me know in the comments if you have additional tips on this event, on the combat drills. While you go into the comment section, please leave a like to this video, share it with your guilds, alliance and friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit that bell button so you won't miss any new videos. And check the video description and the pinned comment for additional links. We have the Warpath playlist with all the guides over there. We have the Discord where we can talk about stuff. And we have some social media and other links that are really nice like blue stacks that will help you to get the resources while you're away. Um, yeah, I think that's about it for now, guys. Thank you for watching. Soviet out. До свидания.